Hi and welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose. My channel is dedicated to spirituality, makeup and commentary. I'm doing an international giveaway of makeup, a pendulum and other goodies once I reach 6,000 subscribers. A winner will be picked at random. All you need to do in order to be in the draw is subscribe to my channel and to my Instagram, leave a comment below and a way for me to reach you. So please like, subscribe, comment and share my videos. Today is a very special day for me as I am doing my first collaboration video with my new friend, a funny girl on YouTube called Fetty's World. She uploads on Fridays. She is making a video on unpopular school opinions. She does comedy, lifestyle and gaming content. So please make sure to check her out. I will leave the link to her channel below. Today's video is dedicated to Nikki Tutorials. Nikki Tutorials is a makeup artist and a YouTuber. She is Dutch and began posting tutorials online since 2008 when she was only 14 years old. She is the first global artistry advisor to Marc Jacobs. Nikki was born on March 2, 1994. She gained online popularity after her YouTube video called The Power of Makeup and she became a popular YouTube makeup artist and inspired many other videos of people showing their faces with and without makeup. Now, in 2021, she has a staggering 13.8 million subscribers and over 1.4 billion views. Nikki began uploading makeup YouTube videos when she became inspired by Lauren Conrad's makeup. Gradually, over the years, her makeup skills vastly improved and she began to create her own makeup looks. After uploading for approximately two years, she enrolled in a makeup school at B Academy in Amsterdam. She then signed to Colorful Agency in 2011 and began working as a professional makeup artist. In 2013, she became the head makeup artist for RTL 5 show Can Make You a Supermodel with Paul Fisher. She left Colorful Agency in 2014 to work as a freelance hair and makeup artist. In 2017, Forbes magazine named her one of the top 10 beauty influencers of the year. She also won the award for YouTube Guru at the Shorty Awards and afterwards for Choice Fashion Beauty Webstar at the Teen Choice Awards. While currently Nikki serves as the global beauty advisor to Marc Jacobs Beauty she has done many collaborations in the past with brands such as Ofra and Maybelline. In December 2019, she collaborated with Lady Gaga, promoting her makeup brand called House of Laboratories. She also collaborated with Too Faced Cosmetics, where she was grossly misrepresented when her Too Faced collaboration eyeshadow palette came out, people were very disappointed at the subpar quality of the eyeshadows. Nikki later revealed that the eyeshadow palette that Too Faced sent her was of top quality and the mass produced an eyeshadow palette with her name which was of very poor quality. 
Nikki stated that at the time she couldn't understand why the public turned against her. Calling her a liar for hyping up her palette as a top end quality palette. Until it was much later revealed that the eyeshadows which were sold to the public were of very poor quality around about the same time Nikki was friends with Jeffree Star, who leaked in disgust that Nikki was cheated by Too Faced as they only paid her a measly $50,000 for that collaboration. Afterwards, Nikki and Too Faced Cosmetics went well and truly their separate ways. Whilst Nikki was at the height of her career and enjoying great popularity, she was suffering a personal tragedy. Her younger brother Mikai continually complaining of a sore knee. In her candid reveal, reveal all videos, she explained that they would laugh off his complaints as a nine-year-old little boy surely couldn't be suffering a great deal of pain. Later on it was sadly revealed that her brother Mikai had lymphatic cancer. Nikki couldn't handle the great emotional pain that she was suffering from her brother's diagnosis and literally buried herself in work just to avoid having to deal with her brother Mikai's cancer. Sadly, her brother Mikai passed away from cancer in 2018 at the age of 14. In her candid four-part series called Layers of Me, Nikki revealed how over being a decade on YouTube she has gradually grown into a brand of her own. She talks about constantly having to be cheerful in public, constantly working so that she wouldn't feel the pain of Mikai's cancer, and deep down knowing that she had a secret which she was guarding with her life, and even her best friend didn't know her deep, dark secret. She stated that she was afraid to reveal her secret to her friend, not to let her down, as she didn't know how her friend would react. On January 13th, 2020, she uploaded a video called I'm Coming Out, in which she revealed that she is transgender. She said that she wasn't ready to reveal her secret, but that her cameraman was blackmailing her and threatened to make her secret public. She stated that she didn't know how people would react and that terrified her, but she wasn't going to succumb to the blackmail. She stated that while still being in a boy's body, she wanted to wear dresses and was bullied at school. Hence, starting her own YouTube channel was her way of escaping and recreating herself over and over again. She further stated that she literally transitioned whilst being on camera and nobody ever noticed. She underwent surgery in her early years the news of Nikki being transgender was received really well and she became more popular than ever before as she revealed that coming out was the best and the scariest thing that she has ever had to do. But she is free now because now she no longer has any more secrets. In June the 12th, 2020, she was announced as a goodwill ambassador at the United Nations. After her coming out video, she was invited to the Ellen DeGeneres show 
where she talked about her coming out experience. Later on, Nikki mentioned that it's best not to meet your idols, as her experience on the show was poor and she was treated differently from other guests and that Ellen herself was cold and distant towards her. In late 2020, it was reported that Nikki would be a guest on the Drag Race Holland, the Dutch version of RuPaul's Drag Race. Nikki has had her fair share of ups and downs. In August 2019, she got engaged to her boyfriend Dylan, who loves and accepts her just as she is. In August of 2020, Nikki and Dylan, who are living together, were robbed at gunpoint in their house. Although physically they were okay, emotionally they were terrified and shaken. Nikki stated in her YouTube series called Layers of Me that she didn't want uh, to be announced as a transgender YouTuber. Yet when it was announced that she would be the online host of Eurovision Song Contest of 2020, she indeed was announced as a transgender host in all the news outlets. Later on, the contest was cancelled due to the pandemic. Ending on a happy note, she was confirmed to return as a co-host of the 2021 contest, having been upgraded to a regular host, so revealing her secret to the world has set her free and brought her even more popularity than ever before. Thanks for watching. Cosmic kisses to everyone. Bye for now.